Hey everyone and welcome to the I'm First video series focusing on Summer Melt. In this edition of our Summer Melt videos, we are going to be talking a little bit about financial aid. So I mentioned before in a previous video that there are several factors that leads to a student sort of becoming a victim of Summer Melt and that means um, you know, graduating high school and having every intention to in, uh, head to college in August but for several uh, factors don't really make it um, and financial aid is one really really big reason why students don't make it um, to their college campus so I'll be chatting a little bit about uh, some of the things in regards to financial aid that's really really important for you to know um, and will really help you get through the process so you don't sort of fall victim to suffering from summer amount and not going to college because we definitely want you to head to college so one thing that's really important is understanding your financial aid package and really understanding where your funds come from. Now your financial aid package is something that you should have gotten already and um, in it you'll see a ton of numbers and maybe a little confusing but these are just these are figures that um, correspond with sort of the cost of attendance, how much money you're going to be getting. So it's really important for you as a student to understand these numbers and understand what these numbers mean. Um, you'll probably see something that says loans and scholarships and grants, so really understanding what those are. Uh, so scholarships and grants are money you don't have to pay back. So if you see that in your financial aid package, that's awesome. You don't have to worry about paying that back once you graduate. Um, but you'll also probably uh, have loans in your financial aid package too. Loans aren't terrible, but again, that's money that you do have to pay back. So just be mindful of those things. Also, um, knowing what requirements are needed to keep certain financial aid. I know this is something that a lot of students don't really think about. Um, so let's say, for instance, you received a scholarship, which is awesome. This is free money, money you don't have to pay back, but you have to keep you know, a 3.5 GPA. That's really, really important for you to know um, before you head to college because, you know, once you get to college and let's say, for instance, you don't do so well and you get below a 3.5, that means you lose your scholarship. You lose that free money and that's definitely not something you want to do. So understanding sort of the sources of money you get and kind of the the criteria that goes along with being able to keep that money. So that's really, really something that you want to be mindful of when um, looking at these numbers. Also, knowing your deadlines. Now in the summertime, uh, well, even before the summertime, you've already filled out your FAFSA, you got your financial aid package back, all this stuff is good. Uh, you probably have received a crazy big bill and you're like, what? What is this? How am I going to pay? Where does this come from? Um, don't be too afraid, but just understand and remember your deadlines. So if you have to accept your financial aid um, award letter by a certain time, make sure you do that. That might be during the summer. Um, and if you don't accept it by, let's say, July 1st, then you might not be able to head to school because you don't have the funds to go. So again, just being mindful of deadlines, trying not to freak out. I know it's a crazy process but being mindful of deadlines and making sure that all things are in place so that in August you're headed to college, um, you're headed to your campus. So, you know, seniors, if you haven't done that now, get on that. I know it's kind of kind of late in the game. It's the end of July, but no worries. If you have any questions about financial aid or anything, feel free to pick up your phone and call your financial aid office. They're more than happy to chat with you and they would love to help you. So never be afraid to reach out to them and to talk to them. And lastly, one thing that a lot of students don't think about um, is budgeting for college and actually how to get there. Uh, let's say if you're a student and you live in California, but your school is all the way in New York, you're going to need a way to get there. You're going to have to figure out, you know, how you're going to be able to pay for that plane to get from California to New York. So thinking about the budget of college outside of the actual tuition. So thinking about um, a laptop that you might need, thinking about um, you know the bed sheets and the linen that you're going to need for your bed once you get into college and thinking about food, not necessarily your meal plan, but you, you know you may want little snacks and different things um, in your dorm. So these are other expenses that you want to think about um, as you prep and go to college. Don't let this 
sort of scare you. It, it shouldn't be scary, but definitely want you to keep this on your brain as you uh, as you matriculate and head to college. So um, if you haven't figured out how you're going to get there, that's something you might want to figure out pretty, pretty soon because most colleges start in August. Um, if you haven't sort of figured out, you know, how you're going to get a laptop or how you're going to get, you know, textbooks and different things. Reach out to people on your campus. You have libraries. You have, again, the financial aid office. You can borrow books from the library. You can, you know, find some friends and share books. There are a ton of different ways that you can get through and navigate this process. Um, and we definitely don't want financial aid, uh, the issues with financial aid to be a reason why you don't matriculate and head to college, your college campus next month. So again, if you're a senior and you know financial aid is one of the reasons you might be a little hesitant about going to college, really hope this video was helpful. Feel free to reach out to your financial aid office. Do what you need to do to head to your college campus because you are the first in your family to go to college. And that's a really, really big deal. Um, everybody's super proud of you. I'm super proud of you. So um, this is a little obstacle that you have to get through, but you'll be a-okay and you can do it, definitely. Um, so that's it for our um, Summer Melt series video uh, focusing on financial aid. Check us out next week where we will be talking about another topic that um, inhibits uh, students from heading to college. But until then, you guys have a great week and we will see you soon. Bye.